ration books. Apply now for the new ration book for food, the personal ration book, the clothing book. And don't forget your identity card. There wasn't enough food to um, go round. So to make sure that nobody had too much, it was rationed. Everybody was given uh, a ration book, and which was by four by four, and it was beige. They were divided into squares so that you could cut out the first week, the second week, and so on. It had to be registered with certain, a certain grocers, so you could only buy your groceries there. Everybody should have got a fair share. It didn't rely upon your pocket. It relied upon the availability, how much there was as to how much you would get. Yes, madam. During this four-week period, you're entitled to an extra pound of sugar on every ration book. Fats, lard, butter, margarine, sugar, tea. Meat was rationed, first because an awful lot of the meat came from overseas. And that could be in a ship, bag them to the bottom of the sea with the sailors that were carrying it. Butter, I think you got two ounces a week. Well, two ounces is as much as an egg, and that's not an awful lot. Eggs have come out of their shells these days. They've changed from this to this. I was very fond of eggs, and then we had to have, eventually, egg powder, powdered eggs, which we got used to. Good farming and good weather have produced a lot of fine grub. Look here. There's more than two veg to this joint, and we've got to eat them up. There was never enough of the good stuff. Oh, there was lots of things like potatoes and peas and greens. Fruit was in very short supply. I remember queuing up for oranges, which you got on the blue ration book occasionally. Otherwise, there were no oranges, no lemons. There were apples, but I didn't like apples. There was an awful lot of stewed apple in the sweets. I suppose there were a lot of that. There's the one thing that did grow in England. We didn't have to import apples. If he's fed up with his food, she gets the blame. But there are always new ideas about it. I think it was the drabness of the food that got one down, the sameness of it, that it was just eating for subsistence rather than for any kind of pleasure.